In this example, we'll construct a least squares regression line for the data we're given. And we're gonna do this more or less manually, although we will use the calculator, but we're gonna use the formulas to do this rather than letting the calculator do all the work for us, which we'll get into a little bit later. So we're told ahead of time that the correlation coefficient R is 0 0.9. Again, later on, we'll use the calculator to calculate that. For now, this one's given to us. And we're gonna use the formula to calculate the regression line, the formulas for A and B. So remember the regression line looks like y hat equals ax plus b, where a is r times the standard deviation of the y values divided by the standard deviation of the x values, and b is calculated using the averages for x and y, as well as the answer for a. So we need to calculate the average and the standard deviation for the x's and the y's. And in this case, it makes sense that x is the size and y is the selling price for this house data, because it makes more sense to say that the size of the house controls or determines the selling price, or in other words, the price depends on the size rather than the other way around. So it makes sense that x is the size and y is the selling price. So we'll calculate the statistics for each data set, the average and the standard deviation. And to do this, we'll use the calculator so let's go to the calculator now and enter the data. If you pull up the stat menu and go under edit, you can enter the data here, which I've already done. And now going back to the stat menu, we could use under the calc option, we could use one var stats to calculate the statistics for X and then go back and do it again for Y separately. Or we can actually use the next option, two var stats, which will do everything for us all at once. So just to save a little time, let's do that. And we'll leave everything as it is. The X list is list one, the Y list is list two. We entered the sizes under list one, the prices under list two. So we can go to calculate and it will give us the averages and standard deviation for each as well as some extra information. So notice the average for the sizes is 2891.25. The standard deviation is 269. 0.49, and then if we scroll down, we can find the average for y and the standard deviation for y as well. So now that we have those values, we can plug them into the formulas. Here they're listed x bar, y bar, s, x, and s, y. First we'll calculate a, so a will be the value of r, which is given, 0.9, times the standard deviation for y, 29.7, divided by the standard deviation for x, 269.5. And that works out to about 0 0.099. And we need that for the second part. To calculate b, we'll take y bar, 447, minus a, 0 0.099, times x bar, which is 2891. And for b, we get 160.8 which means our regression equation looks like y hat equals 0.099x plus 160.8.